A team building on VoiceFlow automated 70% of their customer support. It used to take them 30 minutes to respond to a ticket, and now using VoiceFlow and AI, it takes zero. I'll show you how you can build this for yourself in less than five minutes. Let's get started. Once you've signed up for a VoiceFlow account, create a new agent. Then give it a name, I'm gonna call it support agent, but you could use your business name, and then create it using the basic template. Now we're gonna use AI to generate a bunch of this project because we don't wanna have to build it from scratch. So let's close this. We're gonna click on our existing agent and we're gonna go and create a new one. So we'll go here and create agent. Now I'm gonna press this generate button and I'm gonna describe what I want to do. So generate a support agent that collects a person's name, email address, and problem. Then create a ticket for that issue. If a person isn't clear, ask clarifying questions first. So now I'll hit generate and the AI will generate us a prompt. We don't need to write that ourselves. And I'll hit accept. I can make any changes here if I want to, but for now I don't. Now, if I already had a bunch of questions and answers, I could enable access to the knowledge base and then our agent could try and answer questions first before going and creating a ticket, reducing our team's workload. But for now, I'll leave that turned off. All right, now we use Zendesk for customer support. So I'm gonna hit Zendesk and I'm gonna say, create a ticket. Awesome, now I need to get my Zendesk subdomain so I can go get that. Here is our Zendesk instance and I can just go and copy this and paste it in here. Now I have admin on Zendesk and of course I own this project. So I'll now be able to go and connect it up. Zendesk is connected, awesome. All right, so now let's close out of here and let's try out our agent. So I'm gonna test it. Hit out with an issue. My name is uh, Jacqueline. And yeah, here is my email address. Okay, what's the problem I'm having? The more issues, the better I can help. I'm gonna say my account isn't working. Uh, I wants to give me some more detail. Okay, I can give more detail. Um, oh yeah, I'm getting an error saying it's not secure enough. Awesome. It's gonna say, just to clarify, you're receiving an error, and I'll create a support ticket for you with this information. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, oh yeah, uh, actually uh, the account number is, and we could include a requirement for our agent to ask this automatically. All right, so here is our summary. It's gonna go and create the ticket, and that's it from a user's perspective. They now have an email with that ticket in. But now let's go and check Zendesk. So. I'm gonna go and open it here. I'm gonna go and refresh our Zendesk instance. And here we go, account security issue. It was me. User is receiving an error, said the account is not secure enough and is prompted to contact some support. Amazing. Now, there is one little guardrail I wanna add here that currently right now, we are not locking the priority. A user's gonna say everything is urgent. So we can go and actually modify how our agent uses that Zendesk integration. So let's click here. And let's say the priority must always be normal. That way, someone's password not working is not gonna be urgent and alert our entire team. That would be super annoying. But the rest of these, having LLM capture works for me. I could capture a subject too, um, or I could go and have a predefined one, but I think this is fine for now. And that's it. That didn't even take us five minutes. Imagine what you could build in an hour. It is only as powerful as what you let it do though. So here's how you can let your agent make decisions and build a great customer experience integrating deeply with your business.